All right, hey guys. Um, I just am gonna show you what I did today that um, is different. So um, I did put up some more clothing um, and I did actually um, figure out how to stack them a little bit better so they're not as difficult to um, deal with. See, so I just stacked them basically so they're a lot thinner and um, one stack so there's no stack behind them and they seem a lot more sturdy that way. So um, pretty much like my whole, I've decided my whole inventory isn't gonna be able to fit here um, right away so I'll just keep adding um, to it as it sells hopefully and um, so I need to bring more clothing to finish off the bottom rack there as you can see and then um, since I have no more room on the top to um, fold up extra sizes and whatnot I'm going to go ahead and fold those extra sizes up on those last two shelves um, or the top two shelves of those shelves and right now I did actually put um, all my soap up there for now um, which I want to, if I keep it there, I'm going to want to label it and all that stuff. Um, and then on the bottom shelf, I'm hoping to put my skincare products, like my facial products. And then um, over here, I brought my file cabinet today. Um, since I thought I would be needing it here instead of at home, um, for client files because you're required to keep um, files on clients for two years um, when you treat them and let's see I didn't really do anything over here I did um, get this light from Walmart and it was like $7.99 I think and um, it works pretty good for putting off light and whatnot. I also took away that tray that I had sitting there and just put a bamboo mat from Ikea there because I wanted to use the tray in the other room. And that's just a shelf sitting there that I can't use because I can't use it on my bottom rack. But um, let's see, and then my beauty bar. Right now I just have that up there sitting on top of the light because I was trying to figure out how a sign might look there. Um, so that's the beauty bar, pretty much. Um, the cords are a mess right now because I need to bring tape I think because nails are not going to work to hold that up unless I buy something specifically for holding cords up. I was thinking maybe a white tape would work or like white masking tape or something. I don't know. Or white duct tape maybe. Um, because uh, yeah it's just I got the extension cord so it's only one cord plugging in right there but I just have a lot of excess here and I put a couple nails in there to hold that piece up but then I just have these dangling wires that need to be like gathered up and like taped or something I don't know but um so that's where I am on that and then to the aesthetic room oh the dressing room actually um, I actually uh, got a light for in here too because it's, it was just way, way too dark. Like there'd be no way someone could get dressed in there. Um, but, and there I am. Hello. So, um, anyways, but it's a lot, lot lighter in here so people can get dressed comfortably. Okay, so on to the aesthetic room. Um, I have, I think I'm going to keep those there, I guess, and not hang them since I can't because it's metal. 
plated or something. I moved around a couple things in here. I moved um, that light right there from in the back to here. And then I moved that table that I had there originally to over here in the corner because um, I needed like something for waxing because I need to plug in my outlets over there. I originally wanted my wax up here, but I do not have enough grounded outlets to do that. So I moved it here and, um, and then I pulled the bench from the bathroom. I should have got another one probably, but cause now the bathroom doesn't look as good without it. But, um, maybe I can find something else for the bathroom. Um, this is from Ikea, this bench. And right now I just have the stereo on it for music and um, like if that person uh, who sits there maybe wants to use a table or something that would work. I did not use um, this bench over there for the waxing because I tried it and it just looked wrong. I don't know why it looked wrong but it did and uh, steamer. Um, yeah so and then I was thinking maybe I want to put that orchid picture like in the middle right there because I have nothing there it's so blank it needs um, something and I don't really want to go buy more stuff so and I looked at like Goodwill and thrift shops for uh, pictures and whatnot, but I couldn't really find anything good that I got from Ikea. So I'm thinking maybe I should hang it there um, instead to give this room something. Um, and then yeah, I plugged in the wax over here because um, of the cords, the way the cords worked and it was just easier to do over here um, without as dangerous of uh, electrical cording because they will be inspecting me so um, yeah I don't want anything to look like a complete hazard that already looks hazardous enough and then um, the wax is over here and I put it on the tray as well so if possibly I wanted to bring um, bring it to the table you know like I could set it on the table possibly if you know but maybe not because I mean the person is gonna be on the table so I don't know but and then in that corner I thought something would look nicer like a big like an orchid or something like a faux orchid I don't know but uh for now this is it and um so yeah that's pretty much it um I don't think I did that much else today um I'm a lot more satisfied with the lighting out here though with those two extra lamps it gives it a lot more light um it's about perfect and like right now i don't even have the blinds open and i feel like i have enough light so that's what i was um going for because i really really did not want to use the fluorescent lights because they're really really annoying so that's all for today